So Ahsoka has finally premiered. Episode 3 is coming out tonight. We'll have the live reaction for it on Patreon. The link to my Patreon is down below. Go and check it out for exclusive content like Ahsoka live reactions. And of course, I'll have the review for Episode 3 out on YouTube later this week. But I want to talk about some of the comments and responses that I got on the review that I did for the premiere of Ahsoka Episodes 1 and 2 because... I think there has been some misunderstanding here and also some unnecessary hate. So check out that review first. The link for that will also be down in the description box down below. So jumping into the discussion I want to have on this video, you read the title of this video, Can Ahsoka Save Star Wars? And I think a lot of people are taking my positive views on this one particular show and applying that to my opinion on Disney Star Wars as a whole. And I've been absolutely clear on this topic that when you look at Star Wars under Disney as a whole, it's not good, all right? In fact, it's been really, really terrible, okay? I did a whole video, one of my most watched videos about which is worse, The Last Jedi or The Rise of Skywalker. That video is also linked down below. And I think that Star Wars, as a franchise, as an IP, has suffered immensely under Disney. Make no mistake about that. But, despite my disgust for the sequel trilogy and the damage that I believe those films have done to the franchise, I will not allow that to cloud my judgment. All right, I consider myself to be a reasonable person. I consider myself to have very good judgment. And when Disney and Lucasfilm do something bad, I will, and I have, called them out for it. But when they do something right, when they do something good, I have to give them praise for it. I have to be fair, because that's being called a reasonable fucking human being. Alright? I'm not going to let my emotions override my logic and my better judgment. So let me go ahead and list what Disney has done right with Star Wars. Rebels is good. Rogue One is good. Andor, I've heard is good. I haven't seen it, so I can't judge it, but I've heard it's good. Jedi Survivor and Fallen Order are good. Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga is good. Clone Wars Season 7 is good. Most of The Mandalorian is good. And also, Ahsoka is good. Yes, the sequel trilogy is absolute utter garbage. Yes, it is a damn shame that Ahsoka and the rest of the Filoni-verse, which is what people are calling like Mandalorian, Rebels, Ahsoka, all that stuff, is probably all leading up to the sequels, all right? They're not going to get retcon, unfortunately. I doubt that's going to happen. I know there's some people out there that claim that their second cousin, twice removed by marriage or whatever, works at Disney and has secretly told them that, oh, Disney is planning to retcon the sequel trilogy and Kathleen Kennedy is going to be out soon. I, I understand there's people out there claiming all that. I doubt it's going to happen, though. All right, this stuff is still leading up to the sequels, unfortunately, and I hate that, just like everybody else who is a real Star Wars fan hates the fact that that's probably where this all is leading up to. It's a sequel trilogy, all right? Yes, that sucks. But the Filoni stuff in and of itself has been really, really good, all right? It's been really, really good, and I will take what I can get from Star Wars at this point. When I was watching Ahsoka, the show felt like Star Wars. I felt like I was watching the prequels, all right? And I like the prequels. I love the prequels. I'm a prequel defender. Even before Disney bought Star Wars, even before the sequels, even, even before it was cool to like the prequels, I like the prequels, all right? And listen, I hear the criticism of this show, but I think a lot of it is really unwarranted. People complaining about the story being hard to follow. It's really not if you have watched Rebels and Clone Wars. And yes, this show is a follow-up to Rebels. It's a sequel to Rebels. Sorry, but this show is made for fans of Rebels. If you didn't see Rebels, that's on you. Go watch it. It's only three seasons. Then come back and watch Ahsoka. But this show is meant for fans of Rebels. I'm a fan of Rebels, so I like Ahsoka. If you liked Rebels, you'll like Ahsoka. It is what it is, alright? If you don't like Rebels, then this isn't the show for you. Does that make it a bad show? 
Does that make it bad Star Wars? No, it's just not made for you. The other major complaint that I've heard is about the acting. And honestly, I have to ask, what are people expecting these characters to act like? Yes, Ahsoka, Sabine, and Hera, the major characters of Focus in the premiere, are very stoic in their acting. But remember the context here. There is the threat of Thrawn coming back. There is the loss of Ezra hanging over everyone here. You guys have no idea. If you haven't seen Rebels, you don't know how close and tight-knit that those characters were in the Rebels series. They were like a family, all right? They've probably all been depressed since Ezra disappeared, all right? They, I mean, for the love of God, Hera lost Kanan, who, who was her freaking lover, okay? I mean, there's a lot of stuff for them to be depressed about here, okay? So they're not exactly going to be all bouncy and happy and everything. This isn't the type of situation where these characters are going to be all happy and energetic and stuff. It just wouldn't be warranted in this situation. They're acting like you would expect characters to act in this situation. Sabine and Ahsoka had a falling out as Master and Apprentice. Their relationship is very icy, so of course they are going to have some tension between them. When you look at it in context, the acting here makes sense for the situation these characters are in. Now, that doesn't mean that things won't change later on. That doesn't mean that things won't improve later on as far as the situation goes. And so the characters will be happier and more energetic. But we just have to wait and see. So far, I have enjoyed Ahsoka and I am looking forward to more. Could the show drop the ball as it continues? Of course it could. We can't properly judge it until the season is over. It's as simple as that. Now, do I think that Ahsoka can save Star Wars as a franchise under Disney? No. By itself, no. Absolutely not. No matter how good of a show this may be, no matter how much I enjoy it, one Disney Plus show is not going to be enough to save the entire franchise and bring the fans back. It's just not. And some fans may never come back and Disney's just going to have to accept that. And I'm not expecting Ahsoka to save Star Wars, alright? I'm just trying to enjoy this show for what it is, okay? I'm just trying to enjoy what is some really good Star Wars content that we've not had in a very long time. All right, if you guys want to get mad at me because of that, if you want to say that I'm being, you know, uh, uh, you know, that I'm sucking Disney's you know what, you know, fine, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to enjoy this show for what it is. All right. I do plan, however, to release a video in the very near future on how Disney could save Star Wars as a whole, how to fix the franchise and bring fans back and what is the best way to actually do that. But for now, Ahsoka is some good stuff. It's some good Star Wars content. And if you don't like it, hey, that's fine. I get it, all right? I totally understand that. The sequel trilogy was terrible, and it may have turned you off from Star Wars forever, all right? And I don't blame you for that, all right? I understand that. I get that. Meanwhile, I'm just going to continue to watch it, and hopefully Ahsoka will continue to be some of the best Star Wars content that we've had in a very long time. All right, so that being said, join the Patreon. I'll see you guys over there for the live reaction to Episode 3 tonight exclusively on Patreon at 9 p.m. Eastern. Actually, we'll probably go live a little bit earlier, around 8.45, something like that, before the show actually starts. And I'll be releasing my review for Episode 3 on YouTube later this week. Until then, I'm Jessica James with a Z, and I am signing out.